Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Now here to review the Loud House episode. Back to the mini series of the Loud House. Uh, it's called Star Wars The Casa Grandes. So we're back again with the Casa Grandes uh, uh mini series man, this mini series pretty much going so long. Yeah, I me uh for those who who watched my Legends of Bikini Bottom uh say uh reviews, please uh wa please watch those reviews first before embarking on my journey to the fight to the big uh video but the, being my ranking though uh yeah you should see those videos first before watching th the ranking video if you if you haven't if you didn't see the, the ranking video i suggest you guys should watch the old videos first because they'll give you like say clues on where i put these episodes on anyways let's get into the episode so this episode begins with ronnie and telling bobby that, telling bobby that uh the store that Bobby wants uh, uh, is uh, waiting is ex is uh, waited to open is already open right now. And next, Bobby thought it was a gym, but actually it's a supermarket. And next, yeah, all the customers in the in the Mercado actually goes there too. Even Vito goes there too. So yeah, they're, they're pretty much in this competition against that store. So Bobby tells the family to take back, you know, like that. So they're all willing to do this stuff. So they put a banner outside, and next. Uh, Maria is pretty much on the peeling duty. Car Carlos is pretty much giving out facts to the customers. Uh, uh, CJ is pretty much helping out the uh, people and uh, getting the stuff that they want. Ronnie and the boss pretty much making them uh, churros. And uh, yeah, yeah, others are pretty much delivering food or or just doing other stuff. Oh, and Carlos is babysitting, yeah. So all this is pretty much going well. And an excellent amount of success and it's the best success ever. And next at night time, uh, the high and buy store is still open. Even, and Vito's pretty much still shopping there. So is Sid's, Sid's dad and and so was the other uh, people. So they decide, so Bobby decided he had to open up the restaurant 24 hours. So he asked the family to stay up um, uh, late and open up. Open minded like that, yeah. And next time, uh, Ronnie's like, Bobby, we, you can't um, do this. Uh, even if you just let us drink hot cocoa. And next among, it's kind of like survival for them. So they're trying to serve up, but they're pretty much acting kind of sleepy. And next among, we get a scene where, where um, Bola tells Ronnie to put uh, salt, so sugar, but she put salt instead. That was a pretty much funny joke. And it contradicts what happens next in the episode. And next song, uh, raccoons, a bit, ra girl is pretty much babysitting raccoons, and next, uh, someone pretty much bumps her, and next, yeah, the raccoon's pretty much on the loose, and next, and next, yeah, the customer's pretty much covered in, I think, food like that, and next, someone said to feed them churros, but, yeah, that, that part where the joke actually contradicts what happened next, um, uh, with, with the churros being really salty, so they escape the restaurant, the customers, and, yeah, they decide to close up shop for good, and Bobby tells part that uh, this might be his last delivery months, so, and next um, part just give Bobby an idea to just um, go back to the regional ones. And next, Bobby learned his lesson to not really compete, but uh, they have stuff that other stores don't have. It don't have. We know our customers um, by name. And next time, um, uh, pretty much having like a little, little speech. And next, we find out that Bobby's pretty much asleep. And next, that's pretty much the end of the episode. Overall, Star Wars was a pretty decent, good episode. It's an 8.5 out of 10 marrying skill. It's close to a 9 though. It's close to a 9. But it ain't good as room for improvement and friended though. And yeah. I'll, if you want to watch the best, you'll find out in that ranking video. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Bye bye.